Hey, what's up guys? So today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to create a simple damage system in Unity. We're going to cover variables, an if statement, enemy health, how to pass a variable from one script to another, kill the enemy, and we're going to take a quick look at the input manager. So if you're following along from the previous tutorial, check out raycast4.cs and uh, we'll just get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we just want to check that if we push the mouse button, We'll do something so if and this needs to be done in update function and we're going to go input dot get button down and it's a string so we need to put in the string and i believe it's fire one and i like to check uh in unity that this updates without any errors so now what we're going to do is uh since it's updated properly we're going to go print and um, fire and let's see if it happens so command P on the Mac shortcut for play and we can see the console it says fire so boom 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 boom, boom and it works and also a quick look at the input manager is uh, input or uh, sorry edit project setting project settings input and fire one can you as you see is the name of the fire button which is the the mouse uh, deep by default right now and that's where you put the string right there fire one if this was called boom boom shake the room you put boom boom shake the room right there and uh that's the way it works so with that said now we're gonna go um so we got our, our statement here why don't we just move this down here and we're gonna say if if we push the fire button, um, we're going to hit the enemy. So what did we do for that? Um, we need a script. Let's go make a 3D object, a capsule, and we'll just call him capsule enemy ding dong. And we'll go over here and create a C sharp script, never JavaScript ever enemy enemy damage and click and drag that on capsule enemy ding dong and to see that it worked it works so we're gonna go over here and we don't need a void or start uh, I'm sorry an update or start function right now um, so we'll call it um, when we do when we deal enemy damage we need a function and because it's going to be called from the raycast forward script we need to make the function public so public void and it's going to be called um ouch that hurt and to check that it works we're going to print ouch that hurt yo <sighs> okay so now to call this enemy damage script from the raycast forward we need to start a uh um an instance of it create an instance of it so enemy damage and underscore enemy damage now this will let us this underscore enemy damage will let us talk to the other script um where are we at here so we'll go enemy damage dot what was the name of it ouch that hurt and uh that'll call the function That'll call ouch that hurt. And we'll just, right now it should call, let's just comment out fire real quick. So we don't got a million comments going on. Comment that out and uh, let's see what happens. So we should see ouch that hurt if everything works right. No, we got the null reference exception. And this is because we did not hook up the raycast script to the enemy damage, which we go to a raycast game object and you see it has no reference to it right there. So you click on that. Capsule enemy ding dong right there. Command P play and it should work. And it didn't. So we got to figure out what happened. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because I put it in the wrong spot. I think. Let's just put it right here for now. And let's see what happens. Do do. Capsule enemy ding dong. 
So ouch that hurt right here. Now that confirms that we called ouch that hurt from our Raycast for dot CS. So that works. And let's just comment the um, comment this out real quick. Okay. So there we go. So now we need to go. We need a couple more variables, and we'll call it um, how about public int. Um, damage. Oh, we already have. Well, uh, we don't need that one right now. Public um, float. Can't type today. Sorry. And um, the distance. And look at that. I cannot. I cannot type. Cannot type game. That's okay. We can copy and paste. Max distance. And then we're going to go. Um, we need to say. And just real quick public and private, you can see we'll update. And to close the shortcut to, to close the console is Command D on the Mac. So public exposes these variables in the inspector on the script. And. Um, you can see it returns zero by default. Let's make the max distance 1.75. And then um, we'll leave the distance zero for now because we're going to call create the distance is going to be um, our hit dot distance. So let me just see where we're at here. Um, we'll create another if statement. I need to tidy my code up a little bit. It's getting hard to read. Uh, before we do that, the distance is going to be. Oh, we already have it. There we go. I already did that. So then we go um, the distance. If the distance is less than um, max distance, then we'll do some magic. Come on. Come on, man. Um, that's where we'll call ouch that hurt. So we have enemy damage, ouch that hurt. And we need to find our enemy. Enemy ding dong. Where's my guy at? Right there. You know what? Let's just add a uh, mesh. What am I looking for here? Dude, wrong. Don't know. There it is. Um, capsule. That work? No. That did not work, folks. I don't know why. So let's see what happens. You can see that it's not working. Hmm. 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 There you go. I was wondering what. So you got to be pretty close. But it works. So let's try again. There he goes. You got to be right there. Up in his face. All up in his grill. But it works. Okay, cool. So, all that works. What do we need to do now, Superman? Superman! So, we'll go up to our enemy and create um, some damage for him. And we're going to make it um, int enemy, enemy health. 
and we'll just call it uh, equal to 50. Okay, and uh, do, 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 do. and what we're gonna do is some magic. Um, the ouch that hurt will go. Do we have our damage over here? No. Um, we'll just have enemy health is 50. Maybe um, enemy health can be something like minus equals um, the damage. Do we have the damage over here? We don't have the damage, so we're going to go int the damage, and it's equal to 10. And let's see what happens. And all this is saying is enemy health minus equals is minus the damage. So enemy health is 50 minus the damage is 10, so it should be 40. And then you can also check out what you're going to have um, remaining, so enemy health in your console and see what happens dogs going crazy right now I'm gonna let them out in a second guys see there you go and so on and so forth and you know what I think you might think you need to go outside and then we'll go um can you go to the bathroom bud um dead the gang the, the ding dong is dead oops so the ding dong is dead is our death function um, and we're gonna go destroy game object destroy what game object and see what happens Good timing because I think I like I can let the pooch on a second. Let's see. So boom boom, shake the boom boom. There he just you can hear him. He just he disappeared. He's gone. And remember we can always check. Real quick, I know you already know. Eh. Trying to be fast and you get sloppy. I know. And we already know it works because print the ding dong is dead. And we already know we already know it works because we saw him disappear, but it's always good practice, I think, to see that it works. The ding dong is dead. <laughs> 